What is going on guys, MC2005 again here and today I'm going to be reviewing the high grade Gundam 00 Shia Quanta from the Gundam Build Fighters Tries Item Wars OVA. Now this is basically like a green custom of the high grade Gundam 00 Quanta. Now you can see like basically some armor absent in the new custom like the back armor of the legs that's supposed to be on the original double quanta and there's just this extra piece here that makes it look like the Ace of Razor and also the on guards over here now the differences now the feet is the same the, the knee armor is different the shoulder armor is different the back housing is different the green on the chest is different and also obviously the head sculpt so yeah, it is enough differences to differentiate between the original and this. And look at the head. It has like this this cat ears, which is basically this piece, entire this entire piece. So uh yeah. It is kinda irritating. But nevertheless it looks good. For stickers, you have the forehead, the eyes, the white over here, and then the strip over here, the GN drive, and every single GN condenser has a silver sticker underneath, underneath. and also the gray stickers for the feet. So one tip, if you do not want the cat ears or the mask, you actually get the original face for the high grade double quanta. So if you do not want this head sculpt, you can basically re- you can basically build the original one and put it on this. I tried, it looks, yeah, so-so, but yeah, each to their own. So for articulation, the head can go up and down, forwards and back, rotate, it's just on a double ball joint. The arms can come out that far, they can rotate, the arms can go out that far. Since these two shoulder armors are the same, so yeah no differences and they, the arms can rotate above the elbow bend at the elbow at two joints the wrist would rotate and wiggle and you can wiggle if you nope okay it cannot wiggle so it's basically nothing different to a peg but you do have like this wrist joint and the waist is on the waist and stomach is on a double ball joint the front skirt is on a ball joint, side skirt is on ball joints, back skirts cannot move back like this, but these pieces can open up to get out of the way basically. And yeah, popping off. Because the construction of the original double quanta isn't the best. So the legs can go forwards and back separate from the waist and they can do the funky dance. And the legs can go forwards backwards, outwards, rotates at the hip, pop off the side skirt, I'm gonna leave that for now, a double jointed knee which is, yeah, better than the original double quanta because the armor is absent, so nothing to get in the way, and the foot guard can move up, and the foot is basically the same as the old original double quanta. So articulation is, yeah, excellent. Despite so many changes in the like construction, it is better than the original Double Quanta. So for the accessories, let's start off with the GN binder. Now you can see like this kind of a cluster cluster F that I'm that I'm holding here. So the arm is basically the same, and but also the green the green piece is different. Along with the base of the shield and also, and yeah, everything is different. So the green piece here, the shield, not shield bits, what the hell, the sword bits over here. So the majority of the sh of the binder is different than the original, sh different from the original shield. So it just goes into the back part like this and just goes over the r left arm. So you can basically put it forward to act as a physical shield or put it to the back. So you do not put it to the back to initiate quantum burst. 
but instead just just basically go through the go through the original routine just basically put them in and open everything up what I like to do is open up the side skirts a little bit not the side skirts the back skirts don't go out of place man open this up and open this thing up which reveals a gene condenser which also has a silver sticker underneath so open up these sword bits open them up and then open the well fall off obviously open these ones up and now you have what the instruction says to be the sheer Qantas flight mode now this is more of a high speed mode than a flight mode to me and just look at the crazy amounts of clear blue blades back in the back so you can basically kill somebody when you just turn around so that's all for the GM binder itself so let's take apart the GM sword bits and just just take a look I think these are sword bits as well because I I saw like four sword bits in in the GM field that it generates stand okay so let's take a look at the small ones first the small ones yeah nothing special it can just move here and that's basically it but for the large ones these are the GM partisan tips of the transient gun so they did not ever shoot in the animes but I can I assume that when you open it up a little bit this tip this tip can shoot or when you open up to the fullest it can initiate a max burst but that's not all if you take the blue blade from the binder piece and put it into the end of one of these big one of these big uh, soy bits close them up first you can see that there's a peg here right so the peg just basically goes into where the arm guard of the original high grade double quanta goes it is not the best connection but since the original high grade double quanta feeds around the arm it has more of a solid connection but this doesn't well it's not a complaint it just looks awesome so you can actually use it as a shield a hand free uh, blade or if you open it up I like to think this as the Kyrios Gundam's pincer the pincer shield so not e that is the sword bits it cannot actually combine with this GN sword to make a buster sword so well it's kind of a bummer but at the same time understandable so talking about the GN sword let's bring it in the GN sword is the actual handle is the same but these pieces are different and also you have like just a clear blue blade so you can just slide into the hand like this it's just simple holds it pretty well and poses it poses with it pretty well and that's basically it it doesn't have any physical mode changes to beam rifle mode or beam ribbon mode so that is just basically a blunt blade so that's all the accessories for the high grade double o quanta double o shia quanta sorry so for comparisons, I'm going to leave the shield bits off, shield bits, sword bits, damn it, sword bits off now, and I'm going to bring in the high grade double quanta because it is the, it is the material gunpla. Well, my double quanta is four years old, and I try my best to really like maintain it, but it's not working for me right now. There we go. Fine, I'll just levitate it. So you can see how different the Shia Quanta is to the Double O Quanta. And finally, why not bring in Shia's previous mobile suit, the G Portent. You can see like 
the differences in the color scheme as well because this is like a like a pale green while this is more like a richer green so that is all for the high grade Gundam 00 Shia Quanta thank you all so much for watching this video if you did like it please be sure to drop a like comment and also subscribe for more gaming videos model reviews and other kind of stuff Tell me in the comments below what do you think of the Shia Quanta and also subscribe to Ultra Prime. It's a video to focus on gaming if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye bye.